Okay, yes, you didn't do anything, that's, uh, that's uh, for sure. Um, now, that's, let me show you, it's very simple. So I'm going to delete what you've done because it's not worth keeping. Um, and you just right here, first of all, you need to do in the side, and you messed up all of those. Uh, you need to go to panel, perspective, uh, you know, orthographic, I mean, and select, for example, side, right. Okay. And now, let's see, we're going to recenter it. So that would be the side. And right here in the panel, we're going to do an orthographic front. Right here. And the top, that will work. So now if we are in the front, it's very easy. Um, first, you got way too many polygons, and that's just not going to work even for a virtual studio. Okay? And it's not... Uh, you haven't unwrapped it too because of that, of that. So, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, actually, it's unwrapped, but not well unwrapped. Um, it would need to be um, better unwrapped than that. So, I'm just going to scale it to kind of regain a little bit of shape. All right, so that would be more like it, number one. Number two, you want to put it into a layer. So you right click and you gotta add selected object to that layer right here. So then you can't select it anymore. You delete that one, we don't need that one, okay? So now we can start doing the tree, uh, basically. Um, and we are going to, hold on. I can zoom out. And uh, we're just going to do, a, let's say a polygon and we can do, um, we can even do a, a tube type of things from the top right here and we have way too many uh, faces so we're going to change it right here and 20 is way too many we're going to go to 8 for example right here okay and then right here we're going to move back here and we're going to bring that in the shape right there and start scaling it so it fits our object okay like right here. We're going to make the object semi-transparent by clicking on it, give it a new shader, a blin or Lambert, whatever you want, actually blin for now. All right, and we're going to go to the blin shader we created, change its color for blue, uh, and make it a little bit transparent so we can see through it. The um, Zoom in right here, all right? And we are going to zoom out a little bit. All right. And we are going to right click, save our text. And we're going to select those right there, for example, and move them in position. Kind of right here to follow the shape. Kind of right there. And bring those in a little bit right there. All right. And we should be okay. We can deal with that. We can add a little bit of roundness if we want, if we want to right here. All right. Yeah, like we could do it a little bit right there, a little bit if we want to, okay? And now we're going to get to do what we're supposed to do. Right click, let me go, oops, sorry. Let me go to the object mode, select the object, move it in position right there, right click, and we select faces, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight which is what we ask him to be and we go right there uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see better what's going on okay and now we're just going to go to mesh extrude uh, sorry edit mesh extrude right here oops and oh, no, it was deselected mesh extrude right here and then you grab it and move it up and then you scale it to fit the tree. It's a really simple process. Move it maybe a little bit so it fits the tree better. And then um, scale it. Okay? Then you can extrude again. And you go up. And that's the whole process all the way to the end. So as you can see, it's really simple. All right. Uh, so you keep going after that. All right, we zoom out, and you make sure you follow pretty well the tree 
so you extrude again right here scale it down and you might even rotate now the edges all right to get it back where it belongs a little bit better all right and then you can extrude again and right here as you can see make it a little bit smaller now to follow the tree more all right and you are pretty much there you keep going until the, you get exactly what you're looking for so you extrude again and which we are right there pretty much and you get your trees okay so that's how it's done it's very easy um, so you need to redo that ASAP uh, right now your grade is going to be really low for that but if you redo it properly and uh, uh, give it back to me by this weekend I will change your grade thank you